Welcome back, James. Hello there, everyone. Angelic Game of Ravenclaw here. I hope you're all doing awesomely today. And I just thought I'd put together this little plan video to provide a bit of context to where this channel will be going in the new year, or at least the first half of 2023. But first things first, I do want to add that I'm recording on Tuesdays and Thursdays and then hopefully getting the editing and uploading done by the next day though it can be subject to change like everything seems to be nowadays when it comes to schedules Tuesday is going to be my main game day like more layered, more fuller let's plays and Thursdays are going to be more like random trips into random games having a vacation of it but again that's all subject to change too as the lineup currently goes in January, I'm going to be continuing my zombified adventures in Dead Rising 4. But I'm also going to try to get in the game that pretty much saved my life back in 2016, Life is Strange, before Fo Forspoken emerges in late January. February is mostly going to be filled with Hogwarts Legacy, that is a game I'm really, really excited for. And it's mostly my anticipated game of... 2023 but like always I'm not going in with any expectations I'm just going to have fun with it really. March is going to be my month for revisiting the other Life is Strange games before the storm and true colours until Resident Evil 4's remake hits us. April I'm going to be doing Resident Evil 4's remake but I'm also going to be trying to revisit a few old favourites at random if I can. May is going to be my Far Cry month, exploring Far Cry 4, 5 and New Dawn, mostly because those are my absolute favourites. Personally, while I liked Far Cry 3, I liked exploring the world and such, I couldn't really stand the characters. And June, I want to try and revisit the Mass Effect trilogy, the enhanced version that came out last year, as well as Splinter Cell Blacklist. It was a game that I did enjoy back when it first came out but it came out on the exact same day as Saints Row 4 back in 2013 so I never really gave it the time of day and even after that I was getting the PlayStation 4 after succeeding on from an Xbox 360. With all that being said though I'm definitely going to strive to provide a bit more variety in the channel as variety is the spice of life. Overall, I am really, really excited for 2023, frankly. Hopefully, I'll make someone somewhere proud, but regardless, I just hope I can make myself proud in all this. If I can make 2023 my year without relying on fate like I normally do, it's going to be a great year, I feel. <clears throat> and before I go, I just want to thank you so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, like always. And everything I've gotten recently, all the likes, comments and subscribers I've been getting, it's all made my heart flutter so much and it's put a smile on my face everywhere I go. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Until 2023, I hope you all have an awesome entry into the new year. And as one of my favourite doctors normally says, I think it's definitely going to be a whopper. I really, really do. So... I bid you adieu for now and I'll speak to you all soon.